Okay, sorry about that. Let's get back on topic. Kim Jong is quite ill, but that's not relevant here. Now, fat. Is it good or is it bad? And the answer is... It's good and bad. But not the same stuff. Some of it's good, some of it's bad. Some kinds are good, some kinds are bad. Some kinds are really bad. Let's start with the bad news first. The really bad. Hydrogenated vegetable oils. Now there's a can of worms if you ever came across one. It's a nasty can of worms. In fact, they've done studies that just increasing your consumption of hydrogenated vegetable oils by a few percent can like double your risk of heart attack. It will clog your arteries faster than you can say, how's your mama? It's just totally out there. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, all this pollution in a big city, eh? Now, let's think about this for a minute. We've got good fats, we've got bad fats. Hydrogenated vegetable oil, some of the deadliest stuff around. And you hear people talk about, oh, high fat diet, let's have a high fat diet. But often they're telling you to have a high fat diet, but they're not telling you that certain kinds of these fats will kill you so fast that it's ridiculous. They'll clog your system up ridiculously fast. They will clog your arteries, do the whole whack. Because they're hydrogenated vegetable oils, which means they're solid at body temperature. And when you absorb them and they go into your system, they will cause problems. They, they do get absorbed and they do end up in your blood. Okay? That's why they kill you. That's how they block your heart up and give you a heart attack. Hydrogenated vegetable oils, bad, bad, bad. Okay? Now, oil in general is not a great thing. Oil in general is really bad for you because it oxidizes as soon as it's uh, extracted from its its host, you know, whether it's an olive or a coconut, whatever, I'm not going to get right into that right here because it's, you know, obviously some oils are a lot better than others. Hydrogenated vegetable oils are really bad, really bad. So, you know, it's, when when you see, saw Maccas, they said, oh, we're all frying in like vegetable oil now, we're really good guys. No, they're not, okay? A lot of places have stopped using hydrogenated vegetable oils which is great. You'll find it less in foods now, which is great, because just because it became so evident how deadly it is. And it's just basically a treated oil that makes it more solid. What, what does it do? It's, it just lasts longer. They, they did it because it, it increased the shelf life of it. But in the process, they've created this like total deadly weapon. And um, so, yeah, you, you definitely want to stay away from that. If, and if you, you know, you smart and you read the labels of the stuff that you eat. You, you ever come across hydrogenated vegetable oils? Steer, steer well clear. In fact, you really should steer clear of eating vegetable oils in general. Which brings me to the good news: the good fats. Now these guys, they they, they, they shouldn't even both share the same name. Like hydrogenated vegetable oil should be just called hydrogenated poisonous, f whatever. Whereas your Essential fatty acids, and there's a whole bunch of them that, you know, you can spend a whole day just looking at that. Now your omega 3, 6, 9s, all that, getting them in a good ratio, really important. Your brain's made of, of, you know, of that stuff. It's made of cholesterol and, you know, it's, it's essentially made of medium chain fatty acids and the whole range of them. But, yeah, look, essential fats are essential. You can't make them you need to get them in your diet so you're getting them from things like fish obviously from you know fish oil supplements things like that a fantastic healthy um, fish is salmon but it's, it's pretty expensive these days because it's got also got this amazing antioxidant called astaxanthin which has been proven to be hundreds of times more potent than vitamin e and vitamin c uh, you really want to focus on getting plenty of these good fats you know you find them in avocados you find them in uh, you know in your fish you find them in, in eggs and uh, these are these are really good foods to make part of your staple so that then leads to the question of is, it, is a high fat diet a good thing so look a high fat diet of itself provided these are, are natural fats in their natural form 
is is a good thing. You just you, you just got to be aware that you know as soon as you start extracting oils out, you know, a tablespoon of olive oil is a hundred calories. You know, you, you stick a hundred calories in there, that's that's a huge amount of energy. And longevity studies more and more are finding that uh, caloric restriction uh, can preserve life a lot, but the, the reason it does so is because you're not you're not getting too many macros. You still need all your minerals and your vitamins and all that stuff, where you're going to be in trouble. But by not getting too many macros, it just means that you're not going to be putting on fat. You're not stressing your body with with all this extra body fat. So it's it's really important that you uh, keep in mind whenever you're talking about fats this massive difference between the healthy fats and, and the the unhealthy fats the healthy fats are your essential fats your essential fatty acids they're essential for life okay the other ones are you know your hydrogenated fats whether they're they're poly or mono or saturated i'm not i'm not even so much interested in that i'm interested in the difference between are they essential for life i.e are they going to give me the building blocks for my joints and cartilage and brain and skin and everything I need or are they just going to give me like calories is it just fuel but it doesn't actually give me anything good which is what the bad fats essentially are they're going to give you fuel they'll still power your body but it's a really dirty energy unit and it doesn't come along with anything good that's going to build structure in your body so just keep that in mind and someone says oh you know heaps of fats good not necessarily you know the guy going down and, and uh, getting the large fries every day and you know big double fatty burgers and stuff he's not going to end up too healthy because he's going to put on too much fat too many calories too much bad fat not enough good fat how much you know good omega-3 is in is in a large fries and a, and a large uh you know large big burger or whatever it's zippo you know your only chances of maybe if there's an egg in there you know bonzo you get a point for that but um end of the day keep it healthy and keep it real by sticking to natural sources of good fats and you can't go wrong have a good day